Could Prince Harry's children one day take the crown? And what makes Princess Anne so important? Unsurprisingly, the most powerful member of the royal family is King Charles III, since he became the sovereign the moment that his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, died. As the Queen lived until she was 96, Charles is the oldest person to become monarch in British history, per USA Today. His wife, Camilla Parker Bowles, became the Queen Consort, and the two will be officially crowned on May the 6th, 2023, per Buckingham Palace. It's tough to predict what King Charles's reign will look like. However, it's safe to assume that the topic of climate change, which he has championed for decades, will continue to occupy the king's mind. Nevertheless, as king, Charles has to remain politically impartial. Totally understand the frustration. The difficulty is how do you direct that frustration? Prince William became the Prince of Wales following the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The title is a big jump and makes him first in line to the throne. Obviously, William has spent much of his life preparing to be king. However, William and his wife, Kate Middleton, are reportedly reeling from recent changes, which have included a move from Kensington Palace to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor Park. An insider told People things were very tense that week. It was not exactly the settling-in period they had hoped for. When his father became king, William also became known as the Duke of Cornwall and inherited the highly lucrative Duchy of Cornwall. According to People, the duchy spans 130,000 acres of land, which is estimated to be worth $1.2 billion per fortune. As a royal insider told People, he is going to very much take an active role in it. He is fully immersing himself in it. As for William's relationship with his father, King Charles, a source told People, talking about the future of the country and their future roles has strengthened their bond. But I think the royal family has to modernise and develop as it goes along, and it has to stay relevant. When Charles became king, Kate Middleton inherited the new title of the Princess of Wales, which was previously held by Princess Diana. And when Prince William becomes king, his wife will officially become the Queen Consort. She'll be known as the Queen Consort rather than simply the Queen, because she is ascending the throne as a spouse of the monarch, rather than by a bloodline succession. Despite not being born into the royal family, some consider her to be the most powerful member of the current monarchy. Royal journalist Camilla Tomine told The Telegraph, When it comes to their generation, you could say, Kate and Prince William, are ruling the royal roost. In the 2017 documentary, Kate, The Making of a Future Queen, royal biographer Kate Nichols said of the process, There are two roles for future queens. One is to produce heirs, which she has done, and one is to learn how to one day become queen. And that is very much what we are seeing. We are seeing a queen in waiting. He may be young, but Prince George has a major destiny mapped out as second in line to the throne. According to reports, Prince William and Princess Catherine are committed to creating a normal life for George and his siblings, which includes rewarding the children for chores by giving them small cash allowances. Stephanie Wallace, the founder of Safe and Sound Childcare Events, told The Express, There is greater importance for Prince George to learn the value of money, because money is no object for him. We know that Kate and William are very hands-on parents who teach their children in a way that will keep their feet firmly on the ground and humble as they grow up. Following the death of Queen Elizabeth II, George's surname changed. He was previously known as George Cambridge since his parents were Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. However, he is now known as George Wales, after his parents became the Prince and Princess of Wales. Prince George's sister, Princess Charlotte, is third in line for the throne. Much like her older brother, Charlotte's upbringing is carefully monitored by her parents, Prince William and Kate Middleton. While Charlotte is carefully parented, she also holds some impressive sway of her own, the Evening Standard published a study that claimed Charlotte was number one on a 2021 list of the world's richest children. The study claimed that her net worth was £3.6 billion, which equates to over $4 billion. Her wealth is reportedly tied to the very same charm her mother has, which has been dubbed the Kate Middleton effect. What Charlotte wears and shows interest in reportedly holds a lot of economic sway, and, like her mother, she apparently has the capacity to influence shoppers and 
product movement. Prince Louis is fourth in line for the throne, following his two older siblings and their father. The stature of his position is made all the more funny considering how often he's in the press for his youthful antics. For instance, at Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee in June 2022, Louis stole the show with his sassy outbursts, which were completely understandable, for the then four-year-old. Sadly, following the death of the Queen, Louis has been forced to comprehend that his grandmother is gone. When the Princess of Wales greeted mourners outside of Windsor Castle, she reportedly told one onlooker, Louis said, at least Granny is with Great Grandpa now. Despite stepping down as a senior member of the royal family, Prince Harry remains in the line of succession. Just because he stepped away from royal duties doesn't mean he couldn't hypothetically be king one day, because succession depends on the bloodline. As a result, Harry is in line to the British throne behind Prince William and William and Kate's three children. It is also worth noting that Harry has a different relationship with the royal family now that his father is king. In fact, King Charles has already made some concessions for his son. Having stepped away from his role as a senior royal, Harry was forced to give up his military titles. As a result, after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Harry wore civilian clothes when walking behind her coffin, despite having served in the military. However, while standing vigil at the Queen's coffin, King Charles allowed Harry to wear his military uniform. It was a major olive branch from father to son. With this gesture, Charles sent the message that Harry may have started a new life in California with Meghan Markle, but he remains an important member of the royal family. Following in his father's footsteps, Archie Mountbatten Windsor is currently sixth in line of succession. Archie and his younger sister Lilibet Mountbatten Windsor are perhaps the most interesting people on the list of most powerful royal family members, as they live in the United States with their parents. In spite of this, both Archie and Lilibet have retained their spots in the line of succession, and because their grandfather is king, Prince Harry's children have great royal privilege. Prior to Queen Elizabeth II's death, many wondered if Prince William would become king ahead of his father, since William is reportedly more popular than Charles. However, as Dr. Robert Morris of University College London explained to the New York Post, the Act of Succession 1701 means any change needs to be approved by both the government and parliament. The likelihood of this happening was nil. William himself would not want it, and if anyone tried, it wouldn't get voted through. For the same reason, Harry stepping away from the royal family does nothing to take the crown away from himself or his children. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor, the daughter of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, is also a contender for the throne. She was born in June 2021 after her parents stepped away as senior members of the royal family. As a result, her upbringing has been vastly different from that of her cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. However, Lilibet did get to meet her royal relatives when her family returned to England to celebrate Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee in June 2022. For King Charles III, the visit was especially poignant, with a source telling the BBC he hadn't met Lily, his granddaughter, and so to meet her was very emotional, a very, very wonderful thing. An insider also revealed to People that Lilibet met the Queen during a family gathering behind the scenes. In a tribute to his late grandmother, Prince Harry said in a statement, I am forever grateful for all of our first meetings. From my earliest childhood memories with you, to meeting you for the first time as my Commander-in-Chief, to the first moment you met my darling wife and hugged your beloved great-grandchildren. Princess Anne, the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, is 16th in the long line of royal succession. However, she transcends others on the list as a powerful member of the royal family because of her steadfast dedication to the crown. Commitment has been constant. The Princess Royal gets her unique title because she was the daughter of the Queen and, interestingly, will hold it until she dies. When Prince William becomes King, Princess Charlotte will be the rightful heir to the title. But she won't receive it until Anne has passed away. Royal expert Duncan Larkham told Town & Country, It is a title that remains for life, so Princess Charlotte will have to wait at least until the death of the current Princess Royal. 
Anne is seemingly so beloved and respected for her dogged work ethic, as the New York Times points out, she has long held the record as one of the hardest working royals. She's also been praised for how she responded following the death of her mother. Princess Anne was the first woman to ever walk in the monarch's funeral procession, and she stood in the vigil of the princes, something traditionally only done by men. Best of all, she carried out all of these duties in military uniform and simply paid her respects to her mother, the monarch.